Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening the Weiss Cam Pan 1080p with Wi-Fi, night vision and two-way audio. This is the cam you are looking at right now and it just comes in a box, a uh, white box like this. So let's, uh, we'll take a look at the box and then, you know, I'll open up the box and see what's inside. And also I'll show you, you know, how to set up the cam after uh, setting up how, if it's easy to use or how difficult or uh, user friendly the cam is. The box is this way and on here you can see that it tells you a 360 degree uh, pan tilt range and uh, 18 steps of uh, gray enhanced night vision. And then we have a unique uh, mic design, high quality audio. So you'll be able to actually talk through the cam. And on this side of the box, uh, basically there is just some more uh, information uh, such as model number and other information, but uh, nothing much. And on this side, uh, we have basically some other specs. For example, uh, 1080p night vision, 120 wide angle lens and 110 quick uh, rotation speed. I'll open the box and I'll show you what comes inside. So I emptied out the box and this is basically all you get with uh, the cam. Uh, the box is empty right here. So we have the cam itself and then there's the cable. And uh, this one actually looks like a regular micro USB cable, not a USB-C. And then we have a power adapter. And then we have a small uh, quick start guide so if you uh, look at the quick start guide then it looks like that you know you have to uh, set up the app from the app store or google play and then you have to connect it to the camera and then you have to just you know uh, follow the instructions on the app so basically it looks uh, fairly simple and then we have here some uh, indications uh, light uh, for example solid yellow flashing yellow flashing uh, blue or uh, solid light blue the process looks fairly simple so I'm just going to you know uh, set it up and then we'll uh, take a look at it after that and then uh, just uh, to mention that here on the bottom of the cam looks like there's a micro uh, USD card uh, slot and then there's something to set up it could be a reset button and then uh, there's actually a quarter inch looks like a quarter inch hole to you know put it on something like a tripod or uh, something uh, like a stand so on top is going to be the status light and right here the status sensor so we'll uh, set it up and then you know i'll show you uh, the next step hello everyone so i have set up the voice cam and the process was fairly simple so you go to uh, google play and you search for wyze and then once you see a match just you know you have to install uh, the wise cam app and then once you open it uh, it's going to go through the setup steps and uh, what you have to do is there's a button right here uh, which is right there so once you click on it then the app is going to pick up the uh, cam and then it will go through the setup process so you have to you know scan a QR code which is going to be showing up on your phone and once you do everything then uh, you'll be able to uh, see the cam on your app so here's some uh, basic steps uh, i'm going to show you so for example uh, this is just a recording uh, from before and uh, so right now it's just connecting uh, to the uh, cam to show you the live view which is right here for example you can see my hands right there so what you're uh, seeing is a live view and then uh, here if you go to notification then actually you can uh, set it up to send a notification uh, it's going to come on your phone so when there's a person uh, there's a detection and then uh, here is the you know send notification button you have to turn it on or slide it over and then person or you can choose to have all other notification and then uh, here we have the detection setting so you can set it up the sensitivity either low or medium or high so for me it's the default which is the low and uh, then uh, we have here some more settings uh, 
and let's take a look here and then here if you go to more then right now it has a motion tagging so what it means that is going to just tag the person or the motion but you can change it to here uh, like in a motion tracking or pan scan uh, so example if you hit pan scan and then you can see that you know the camera is just like you know scanning and uh, it's just uh, showing you wide view uh, and then I'll just put it back to I'll just you know turn off the pan scan so it will stay on motion tracking and then uh, once you have set up everything so let's take a look here so if you go to uh, even recording and then you can schedule it by all day or when it detects motion so right now I am keeping it uh, off because I don't want it to uh, you know just keep recording for nothing because I'm at home when there's a motion detection then it's going to actually record about uh, for 12 to uh, 15 seconds every five minutes it's not going to keep recording continuously uh, but if you want continuously then you have to pay like you know fees to Wisecam and they have that services but uh, if you are looking for free cloud uh, storage of your motion detection then you have to just like you know it just records every five minutes for 12 seconds and then you can actually access those by going to events which is right here and then it will show you all the live recordings uh, which are short clips of uh, 12 to 15 seconds and if you just uh, click on any one of those then it will just like you know, show you those recordings and it will be just like you know all here and you can go by your calendar or date on top as you can see that picture quality is very uh, clear uh, you know it's uh, if you look here it's showing the front and it's a very good uh, picture quality and then you can uh, manually record by pressing here or by you, know, you can take photo by here or if you want to talk you can just you know hit the voice and you'll be able to talk through the uh, cam so and if you want to just insert your own SD card uh, you will be able to do so uh, but you know I don't see any need for that I'll just you know rely on uh, the cloud but if I decided to uh, change it to an SD card later on then definitely I'll put an SD card here so basically that's all there is uh, the setup and everything is not bad at all it's just fairly simple and the sound quality or the picture quality is fairly well so this is just you know uh, it will give you a peace of mind uh, if you have uh, when you are not at, uh, at home because you can see your home uh, all the time and then you can even get notification if uh, uh, there's a motion uh, uh, detection or there's a movement so overall I'm uh, happy with the product or purchase and this is a non affiliated review uh, what it means that there's not going to be any affiliated link or anything anywhere and uh, I haven't taken money from anyone so what you hear or what you are you get is totally honest and best and non-affiliated opinion so that's all for today uh, thank you for watching this video forget about subscribing to this channel forget about liking this video uh, there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly